beautiful spring day on Catacrom 4 Juanita as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, yeah. The Vox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. Nation. They've got a great battle plan. Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes. To extend the bridge. a chilling thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground! Ratchet, if you want to extend the bridge, use the node, Craig. You know, sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. Why work up a sweat turning crank when you can order your bots to do it for you?
guys! Should we run? Ratchet, according to Dread Zone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area.